In this video, uh, we're going to add some other pieces, a start area and a finish area. And that way we'll know how big to make the frog so we can shrink the frog down so it fits. So in order to do that, we are going to go to our frog. And um, we're going to actually actually not go to our frog. I apologize. We're going to click down here in the little plus area where it says choose a sprite. We're not actually going to choose a sprite. We're going to paint a new sprite. So we can go ahead and click on that paintbrush. And then it gives us a blank area. I'm just going to back out so you can kind of see this is our game area right here. And then there's outside the game area. And for now, let's just start with a really simple um, creating a, a space. So I'm just going to go ahead and drag a box. My box right now has no fill to it, which uh, your fill, yours might have a fill. I'm just going to go ahead and choose a green box. And, uh, and then I can maybe make a little dark line around the edge. And I don't need the dark line to be very thick. Maybe just uh, one or two is fine. Okay. So now you can see here I've got a green box on top of the frog, which is really kind of weird. I'm just going to move it down so it fits below my area here. And that's pretty much all I wanted to do for now, except that I wanted to add some text just to make it clear. So I click on the T for text, click here, and type in S-T-A-R-T. -T. Now, again... I've typed green text on top of a green background. This is a terrible idea. I don't know what I was thinking. So I'm just going to go ahead and move that out of the way so that you don't you, this, so that you uh, believe me. So there's the green text. There's the green background. I don't know uh, how this is going to work really well. So I'm just going to double click on start and then change that color to, let's say, black. Or I could choose white as well. So I could choose white. And then when I move this, um, oh, sorry, when I go back to here and move this, you can see that there's the text that I had typed in earlier. Okay. Um, and so now those two things go together really nicely. I'm just going to pull this down a tiny bit more. And there's our little start area. Oh, it's being really finicky with me. And we're going to do exactly the same thing with a finish area. By the way, if you like the text to be a little bit bigger, just grab a corner and you can make it bigger just like that. So uh, that's the start area. And I'm going to rename that as start. Uh, and then we need to create a finish area. So I'm just going to go back to the little um, kitty cat button, choose the paintbrush. I get a new area. I'm going to zoom back out again. And then I'm going to, this time I'm going to draw my finish area up at the top. So I just go ahead and draw a finish area. Again, it chooses the last color used. So in this case, it's white. I don't really want white right now. I'd actually like red. Um, so I'm just going to choose a red box and just kind of put it in place. And then I'm going to, again, go to my T for text. This time I'm going to change the color of beforehand. And then when I click over here and type in finish, um, there it is. And then I can click on the arrow and just drag to make it bigger and drag to move it around. Okay. So this is just a quick way to create a start and a finish area. I'm going to go ahead and rename this over here, finish. There it is. So now I have a frog, a start, and a finish area. Okay, and then I can go back to my code if I need to. I could say hide or show. I can do all kinds of different things with the finish area or the start area, but that's roughly the right thing. Then I can go to my frog, which is now behind the start area, which is kind of weird. And then what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to make that frog smaller. Um, and so if I haven't done this in another video, you can certainly just change the size right here where it says size, and I can change it to 75%. Um, and now it fits in the start area. Um, or I could have done it using code um, by changing the size um, and uh, using a number of different code pieces. So we'll cover that in another video.